smart foe would leave. Paid off. It's so barren here. Life is a difficult game, no matter how you play it. See that e-waste? You could use that for sure.
Ruth. Where it comes. You need to believe how serious this is if you want to have any effect on it. Got word you found the greatest glider of all, an ark, and it's all good to go. Can't imagine how that would feel, to zoom so fast. Funny that you found an ark when you don't need to go anywhere in it. The world's still going to be here. Proud of you for thinking about helping before escaping, either way. Wonders if there are any open seats left in that fancy arc glider of yours. So, what we have here is an opportunity to help your next. There's a seat open on the arc should you want to offer it as a gesture of appreciation. Why? You don't need anyone else but yourself and me, of course, but I'm a part of you, so that doesn't count. If you want to go quickly, go alone. If you want to go further, go together. The only one we'd want to get away quickly from here is darkness. But you know you can't go on without me. Even if I'm bad company, I complete you. Hm. I think we can finally agree on something. It is better to be alone than in bad company. But best of all, is being good company yourself. Exicon. Feels thrilled to snag a seat in your ark. Can't wait to glide through the skies. Exicon. Goop knows he's repeating himself, but can't help talking to you. Mavaniko. Says you're welcome back. Let's see. Feel that brisk breeze?
dominant outpost shined up by the Myriad tribe. Check out that e-waste. That's a good find. This story needs a hero. It's an undersurfer, all alone without anyone in it, yet. Get on up. Metal that scrapped, all was shiny and chrome. Thanks, but Doesn't riding a beast like this feel good?
Let's see. As long as karma exists, the world changes and we change with it. Has no doubt you've earned the trust and support of this village. Actions speak louder than words. You did good here. Is always willing to listen. You did good here. That wood scrap seems like it would be perfect for your plans. <laughs> this place is called Spurf Top. The fur dresser named Trim hangs out here. He seems glad you're developing your own fur style. Can't be shy about who you are when the world's about to end. Claims he has a policy against taking any sides, except his own. Says you've blazed a path to a place where you have the power to destroy or save everyone. So, which way will it be? He can see you have a steadfast heart. You know the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others, like he does with his clippers. Trim says anyone who doesn't know their history is like a tree without roots. You need to remember who you are and where you came from. Wonders if you ever think about your place in the world, whether you wear your fur short or long. It's about how well your insides match your outsides, right? Right, it makes you feel more like yourself. 
whoever that is. Figures we might have more styles in our futures. The world still has some good time left in it. Knows you've been working to make things better. Says it's good you're working with the Myriad tribe, as claims they don't have much to work with and those ears tend to get in the way, but yeah, fur's fur. Thinks you're more important than whoever you're working with, though. You're the one who gets things done. Says visitors been far and a few. No one seems to prioritize a hair cute these days. <laughs> it's barbarism at its worst. He thinks everybody seems occupied with the fact the world's going under. He presents himself as trim. Says he'll take care of you and that <laughs> hairstrosity. Tells you to ask any of his happy custom furs, even though he realizes they won't be easy to find. He's got one little problem. His clipper fingers have rusted due to the contamination and without them, his whole existence is hanging by a hair. His friend Juju should have a pair of clipper fingers to spare, as he's mostly on the zigzagger nowadays. Maybe you could snag it from him. He doesn't know who gave you your franken cut, but he'll upstyle it and give you a number one pop mop in no time. Just fetch him the clipper fingers. Says he'll give you a fur cut that'll make you famous. Even famouser. Keep them in the dark. That's the way. Yes, yes! Turn toward the light! What? But the light burns! The dark just doesn't! Consider yourself burned, Dark! Ouch! Stop it! Almost slipped past the village of Flibbedit. <sighs> Monsters sleep here, and they're just as messy as you guess. Nothing like a story with an unexpected ending. An aero wreck. Lots of living went down with it, and lots of luggage.
That's the top of a Shaftelu, a gigantic dig hole toxinol cut into the forest to pull things out of the earth. It's time to create your own path. Says he's getting things sewed up here so he can leave when you're ready. I'm not him, John, you sit up, you. He's invested in helping you look your best. Came out on top. Despite the fact that Clipper Fingers are in safe hands, he's still lacking something to make his hair sonal complete. Trim's embarrassed. Now he can cut, but he's out of dye. A bad fur do is a shame to you and him both, and you can't have that, can you? He once found some leftover cans of sput dye near the concrete wall paint sites, and they'd do the trick. This time, he promises, just come back with a can of sput dye and he'll give you that fresh coat you deserve. Says not to worry. This is it. Oh, the light just... it hurts your eyes, am I right? the dark can be. We're not hiding in the dark. We revel in it. Well, you should be hiding. From mirrors, mostly. Now that's just mean. You're not wrong. Just mean. Trim thinks you're still good looking. Time to ride. This is called suburbia, a place to get away from the city stink.
cutting edge. Whatever you do, do it right, or don't do it at all. You hardly ever see those. Nice metal scrap. You can always use that. You need to swivel the Globus's bearings. Too bad there's no boat floating by with this rain. That's interesting. feels like greeting an old friend.
the day is getting on. Now that the Spuck Dyer is in the can, Trim says you can colour him prepared. Trim is grateful you've put him back in Bisbiz, and as a token of his gratitude, he wants to do something for you. And this time he says it's going to be for free. He suggests a full updo, promises to not only give you a new fur style, but a whole new kind of lifestyle. Guarantees you can't find a better one before the world ends. So Heard out of date is getting the Ark ready, but is troubled by the fact that there's only four extra seats on it. It must be hard to choose who to take along. See now. He's not one bit jealous about you having to make that kind of choice. Hard enough to help someone figure out their fur style. Doesn't seem sure about why you're leaving. The world's going to make it. You know it too. A fresh start either way, he guesses. Either way, he believes you have the best intentions. He's proud of you for staying true to yourself no matter what happens. But that's all done now. Supposes you need to figure out who's going into the Ark, and quick. So... What we have here is an opportunity to help your next. There's a seat open on the Ark should you want to offer it as a gesture of appreciation. Why? You don't need anyone else but yourself and me, of course, but I'm a part of you, so that doesn't count. If you want to go quickly, go alone. If you want to go further, go together. The only one we'd want to get away quickly from here is darkness. But you know you can't go on without me. Even if I'm bad company, I complete you. Hmm. I think we can finally agree on something. It is better to be alone than in bad company. But best of all is being good company yourself. Thinks you're so sharp for bringing along someone who will make you look your best wherever you land. He'll see you at the Ark for takeoff. Trim's got his wits about him for you. Seems surprised you have to go. Didn't quite get that sun bright lined up right. Didn't quite get that sun bright lined up right.
didn't quite get didn't quite get that sun bright didn't quite get that sun bright lined up right didn't quite get that sun bright lined up right didn't quite get that sun bright lined up right didn't quite get that sun bright lined up right You've got it dialed in. See where that light leads. Just follow that beam over. Oh, check out the scribble stone there. Wonder what's behind it. The nono must be close. They like to nest in the glitter grass. Tough times ahead, no matter where you go.
the salt feels crusty on your skin. Found a factorium. Wonder what they used to be. Better days. Everything is at stake. 